So this is another follow-up video in relation to the artificial horizon I have been using in my recent videos. The model I have is the RC Allen Instruments RCA 26BK-12 gyro. There it is right there. Now this is the installation and operation guide and we'll just have a look at some of the information that is quite relevant to the topic. If we go down to the general description I'll just highlight the two paragraphs and then I'll read them. The electrically powered gyroscope rotor not only has the mass to create the gyroscopic effect, it has impeller blades which creates airflow. This airflow from the impeller works with gravity actuated vanes that direct jets of air to automatically level the gyro and we've certainly seen the gyro is capable of leveling itself. Attitude indicators can only tolerate a specific range of bank angles. If the aircraft rolls too steeply while performing aerobatics, for example, the attitude indicator can tumble and become temporarily unusable. For this reason, the indicator is fitted with a cage, a device to restore the gyroscope to a level position. The RCA 26 series attitude indicators will, however, gradually re-erect back to level after a tumble. So even if you don't cage them manually, they will automatically correct themselves. Looking a bit further in the manual, you'll see it gives you the operating voltage and the relevant currents. If we go down to the pre-flight procedures, section three, during pre-flight procedures, the attitude indicator must be provided with adequate electrical power under normal vibration conditions. Allow a minimum of three minutes for the gyro to settle to true level. The gyro will normally settle to true level on its own, but you may level the gyro presentation if desired by pulling the pull to cage knob. The cage knob is spring loaded to return the caging mechanism to the normal position. In-flight procedures. Specifically, this warning is quite relevant. Caging the gyro while in flight, when the aircraft is not level, will cause the level indication to be incorrect. The gyro must be allowed a few minutes to settle to true level before it can be safely relied upon. The gyro is settled when both pitch and roll indications remain constant. So that is again confirming that the gyroscope has its own correcting mechanisms. And what this warning is basically saying is that if you cage the gyro incorrectly when it's not level, then it will align incorrectly, but it will settle back to true level by itself. And that's exactly what my demonstrations were showing. So in the video description, I will add a link to this manual so you can read through it yourself. But the other thing I just wanted to touch on briefly is a new little toy I took delivery of yesterday. Now this is a Dynon Avionics D2. It's a portable attitude heading reference system which is actually designed to be used in an aircraft. So it's not just uh, similar to a basic phone app, it's a lot more advanced than that. It actually has some fantastic features. Aside from the basic attitude indicator, you can see if I rotate left and right that magenta arc down the bottom, that's like a rate of turn indicator, turn coordinator. At the top you can see the little ball as I rotate the instrument left and right you can see the little balance ball. So that's basically like a bubble level. Now it also has a GPS receiver so it gives me ground speed and altitude and true direction. An excellent little device. Now because it is designed for use in an aircraft it processes the information in its sensors quite differently to the way a phone does when you're using one of these level apps and I was testing it today in the car driving around with the D2 alongside this phone app and I plan that in a future video just to show you why the phone apps are completely unreliable in flight. The operation is quite different when you look at this dedicated 
aviation quality device compared to a cheap phone app and you'll see that in a future video. How easy it is to fool one of these phone based apps whether you're using it for the artificial horizon or as a bubble level app and also why a real bubble level is completely useless in an aircraft. There was a comment on one of my videos today that a standard bubble level corrects faster than the artificial horizon. Well yes it does and that's exactly why it's completely useless on board an aircraft and as are many of these phone based apps because they simply correct too fast and that means that the apparent G that we can generate on board the aircraft will easily fool these devices into giving you an incorrect information and that is why they are quite dangerous a pilot could not trust these devices in flight to fly the aircraft reliably because they are too easily fooled and a perfect example of that is if I were to fly a 360 degree barrel roll in an aircraft if I flew it smoothly and in a coordinated fashion this small bubble level would not even move and many of the phone based apps would not show an indication of that roll at all as long as I maintained positive G throughout the maneuver. This dedicated aviation unit is not so easily fooled and it will show the motion of the aircraft quite reliably. It's not fooled by the G during maneuvers because it is aviation quality and it processes the information in its sensors quite differently. And that's why in this mechanical gyro you actually don't want it to correct too fast because it needs to show reliable indications throughout maneuvers and if it corrects too fast as a bubble level would or as a, a phone app would it is completely useless on board an aircraft. Now another great feature about this small D2 is that you can connect it to various different apps on the iPad and it just translates the attitude information there nicely. So expect to see more videos featuring this. I'll show it in flight, I'll show it driving in a car alongside the phone based apps and you can see that anytime you have lateral G the phone based app will show a false roll whereas the dedicated aviation unit is much more robust and will continue to show correct level even in a turn. What it will show you is rate of turn with that magenta arc down the bottom and it will also show you the lateral G by the little balance ball at the top but it won't be deceived into showing you a false roll indication as many of these phone based apps will do.